Hey guys, so um, my audio actually messed up for this video, so I'm gonna have to be narrating it. So this is me doing the introduction, blah blah blah, but yeah, this is gonna be a fashion beauty haul, blah blah blah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I got was at the new Tommy Hilfiger at my um, shopping outlet where I live, and I just got this plain maroon v-neck. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple, just basic, form-fitting, um, yeah, and it has a little symbol on the right, and that's it. So the next thing I got from Ross was, um, this peplum shirt, and it's leopard print, and kind of crazy looking, but trust me, it looks way better on, and I'm actually wearing one right now and it's just really flattering to your figure and it dresses up an outfit and you can actually dress it up or down you can make it really formal looking or just like casual to me um yeah i wore it to church today so yeah uh, i really like it and um you could also wear it with shorts like denim shorts like dark denim though um, yeah, you can just play around with it, and I really like it, so, yeah, ramble, ramble, ramble. <laughs> um, it also comes with a, bl a belt, uh, by the way. Um, you don't have to wear it, but it looks cute with it, too. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't really know what I'm saying right there, but... Oh, I think I'm explaining how the reason why this is like a fall fashion, but I'm getting short sleeves. Anyways, um, another thing I got from Ross was just this bright red um, tank top, and it's kind of like spandex material, like nylon, and um, it's just like a basic thing that I needed to, you know, wear under a cardigan or something. Um, lastly, and this is from Papaya, I got this cropped um half i don't know what you call it fourth sleeve or something like that um shirt and it's really um has a low cut in the back but it has these like pearls that hang so it kind of in the front it just looks kind of basic but in the back it really kind of like jazz it jazz jazz it jazzes it up um but it's also maroon i got too many maroon shirts really <laughs> but um it's fall so you know whatever but yeah, I think it looks really good on my body because I'm short, so you know, crop tops. But anyways, that's it for the fashion. Um, going on to makeup. Hello. Um, sorry, excuse my lighting. I really don't know why it's washing everything out, but you know, the struggle. Um, anyways, the first thing I got was this um, Milani face powder that you can barely see. But um, if you could see it in real life, it's actually way darker than my natural skin color. And I kind of did that on purpose because I want to use it as a contour because um, I can't really use bronzer because it breaks me out. So I want to see if this Milani face powder will work as like a bronzer slash contour, you know, Tr just trying to like hack the system with it. <laughs> but I really like Milani face products, so um, I'm hoping it works. Um, as for the next thing I got, I got the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. And, um, no specific reason for getting this, I just need a new mascara. I usually stick to Maybelline ones, but I heard a lot of good things about this, so I wanted to try it out. Um, I usually use waterproof, but this one isn't waterproof, so, you know, just spicing it up a little bit. Um, I got it in very black, by the way. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty excited to try it out. Um, so the last beauty thing that I got was actually the um, CoverGirl Clean Makeup um, Mousse Cream Foundation thingy. Um, you can barely see it again, but uh, it's, it's, oh, it's the whipped cream, my bad, not mousse. Um, but yeah. I got it in buff beige, and when I swatched it on my wrist, it actually has a really yellow undertone, so I'm excited about that, because most foundations don't have a yellow undertone, tune, 
tone. Wow, I can't talk today. Um, but yeah, um, I heard it was really good for oily skin, so I can't wait to try that one out. But yeah, that's it for the makeup. Um, this was my outro part, just me talking, but thank you for watching the video, and I'm sorry for inconvenience of me having to talk over myself, but more to come.